Hola. Are people being mean already? I, I literally been on for like 47 seconds. I didn't even make my drink yet. Shit. She, you ever watch The Wire on um, HBO? She. I hope someone gets that reference. I'm gonna make chicken franchise today. She. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, chicken franchise. I'm making roasted vegetables, roasted like a um, pesto roasted vegetables. Um, and I have Italian bread, so I think I'm gonna make garlic bread. And you, like, instead of making pasta or like rice with the uh, chicken franchise, you could eat it with the garlic bread. Um, and I'm gonna have some vodka. Happy Friday! All right, let's get cooking. I'm gonna just make it an amazing job today, okay? I do have one of those little strainer things. I wanna use that. Alright, let me use that. Oh, cool. That didn't sound good. Chicken franchise is very simple. Um, you are supposed to use a splash of white wine. Some recipes call for it, some recipes don't. I like to use it. I actually don't have any white wine, so I'm gonna be using chicken stock. It's honestly equally as delicious, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but it's chicken, obviously. <laughs> Lemon, flour, egg, oil, butter, chicken stock, parsley, salt, pepper, like really not, not much more than that. Very simple. Happy Friday. Um, okay, let's squeeze some fresh grapefruit juice. And let's get a chapstick. I really need a chapstick. Really needed a chapstick. As soon as the weather starts getting hot, you know? My husband's with my kids, so I'm not ignoring them. Let's squeeze some fresh grapefruit. Keeping it simple and classic today. I've really been loving the hot honey in my drinks. From Ireland, so cool. Guys, I'm going to actually put an apron on because I'm destroying all of my clothes. destroying all my shit every time I cook. You should see what I cook in when I'm not on life. <laughs> I honestly had the same apron for so long. I only have this one or I have a Santa Claus one. I think it's a little past the holiday to be wearing the Santa Claus one, but here we are. Here we are. All right. I'm squeezing my titties. <laughs> Blood Orange Marg, delicious. So I'm actually having some of my friends over tomorrow. Um, they're like family friends, like my my husband's longtime friends. Um, and then I, you know, became friendly with their wives. So we're all just friends now. You know how, you, like, you see how that evolves. But um, I got like, I, I, I got tequila, so I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. But maybe some sort of margarita. Costco? Okay, I don't know if your Costco sells alcohol, but the Costco by me sells alcohol and their prices are really good. Like a case of 32 beer, I think, uh, 32 Miller Lights is like $24. Like, I think I paid $24 a couple of weeks ago for the same beer, like a 12 pack or like a, 
What comes after the 12 pack, 18 pack? I don't know. Yeah, and now I, be you know, I became friends. I'm actually the godmother to one of their kids, you know. It's just funny how that evolves over like the years of being with each other, you know. Thanks for sharing my live. That's so cool. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so cheap. And I mean, where where I lived before, my my Costco's never had that. I literally didn't even know they sold alcohol until I moved here. And then, actually, how I found out was one day we went, and it was like um, eleven in the morning or something. And I don't know if it's only Sunday or every day of the week they can't serve alcohol past a certain time. So me and my husband were like, "Oh my god, a Costco with alcohol!" We like got shit. And we got up there, and they're like, "Yeah, we can't sell this to you." I'm like. Oh, there's rules on it. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. We got some lime in there, too. I'm going to put a little lime because obviously the grapefruit is not bitter enough for me. Need some fresh lime. Did I always want kids? I believe I did always want kids. Um, I did always, so after I had Serafina, I thought I was only going to have one kid. Like I really didn't have a, like a desire to have a second until Serafina was like three. And then I was like, I wanted to have a sibling. Like Serafina got a lot easier. My postpartum was gone. Um, and I, I just wanted another one, you know? My mother's making money. So my mom goes, I can't. You're wearing a color shirt because you guys know I usually wear black, white, or gray. <laughs> I love it how my mom just pops on my freaking lives. Are, we, are, are you guys like hearting me? That's so freaking cool. Thank you. Thank you. What are you guys drinking tonight? Huh? I'm gonna put some vodka in here, of course. And then just a little salsa. You know, I'm very simple. I'm really an easy gal. Oh, I love New Park pizza. That's the pizza I grew up on. My husband actually went to my mother's house like last week, did he go over there? Um, because he, bo he borrowed my brother-in-law's paint sprayer, which he didn't even end up using, but whatever. Um, he, he drove there and I'm like, pick up New Park and bring it home. Um, but the place is so busy. It was like 9, 9.30 at night. I'm like, oh, don't bother. You're not even going to be able to get in the place. Like, I know because I grew up over there. And he's like, yeah, the place was packed. He said he couldn't even get in the door. So I'm, I'm happy to hear that it's still like, you know, booming. Also, another reason why I love New Park Pizza. Let me tell you. Hold on. Let me get my salsa. <laughs> Another reason why I love New Park Pizza, okay, and I'm going to tell you guys because this is very, very nice of what they did. During Hurricane Sandy, um, so Howard Beach flooded. You guys know I lost my house in Hurricane Sandy, but, like, not only did everyone's homes flooded, but everyone's businesses flooded also, you know? He, I don't know who the, who the owner is, but I do remember them giving out free pizzas for, like, days. And they were giving out free pizzas or, like, super, super reduced and all the pizza places around were like tripling the price. You know what I mean? So little shit like that just shows character. Like I understand uh, as like a business owner, you see it as like an opportunity to make money, you know, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? They were amazing during um, Hurricane Sandy, And I will never ever forget that. I don't live over there anymore, but you know, during that time I was there. So honestly, I don't mind the pulp. You guys know, even when I first started hopping on here, I always did the pulp, but I can't drink it through a straw with the pulp. I go to Joey for my nails. Prima pasta, of course. We, we loved prima pasta also because growing up, I have mentioned on here before, like we weren't really... 
you know, I didn't have the Howard Beach money, okay? So my mother used to take us to Prima Pasta because it was cheap. Prima Pasta was cheap. They had like eight, I think it was like $7.99 pasta or $8.99 pasta. Like it was like absurdly cheap. And the food was delicious. You know the little bread basket they give you when you sit down? So you, as soon as you sit down, and this was for free. I don't know if they still do it. But it's a bread basket. It has like homemade focaccia. It has like homemade garlic knots. That place was delicious. I have a P.O. box. It's actually in the bio of my, um, uh, you know, profile. All right, let's start cooking, guys. First thing I'm going to do... What should I do first? Because the chicken franchise goes very quick. Let me put the... Let me put some garlic in the oven to roast for our garlic bread. And then I'm also going to put the roasted vegetables in the oven because honestly, that's what takes the longest out of all of this. Chicken frame change, one, two, three. And honestly, if you see the chicken that I have, very thin. I found this new pork store in Staten Island right by my nail salon. It's called Antonio's. I've actually never been there. Very cute. Do I have a paper towel in here? No, hold on. Very, very cute. And like super family oriented, which I love. Seems like a small little neighborhood spot. Thank you. I'm gonna just sharpen my knife real quick. Chicken frame cheese is basically lemon chicken. It's basically lemon chicken. Oh, guys, my dog got groomed today. She looks really cute. I would show you, but I'm about to see my food. People say, oh, I didn't know you had a dog. You don't see her? She's in the back of every video. Like, really. She's literally in the back all the time. Usually sleeping. Yeah, the paper towel, if you put a damp paper towel under your wooden board, I don't know if it works with plastic. I don't really use plastic often. I have a small one, but I use it on top of my wooden board. Um, it, like, helps it be more stable because you don't want it moving when you're, cook when you're cutting. Chicken fried cheese, I'm making roasted vegetables. I'm gonna put my oven on 425. And I'm just gonna put a few garlic cloves in um, a piece of foil and just let that roast quickly. Where's my garlic? I've been peeling my own garlic, guys. I just feel like it's, it really is so much fresher. I love the pre-peeled, like the conveniency of it, but it's been terrible. Um, so my, my daughter is actually out of school very early this year, way earlier than I was ever out of school. Um, I put her in a six week camp, but it's only two days a week. Like I don't have her in the camp all day. It's two days a week for two hours. Um, I had her in a longer camp last year because I was working in an office. I feel like now I'm home. You know, I, I feel like I should, I should be doing stuff with her. You know what I mean? Also, camp is freaking expensive. <laughs> okay, I don't know about where you are, but in New Jersey, the camp this year was so crazy. And I've had my kid in camp every year. A few years in Staten Island, because that's where I was living at the time. Actually, no, we were here all five years. Stat we, we moved to Staten Island, I mean, to, to Jersey when Serafina was turning one. So I had her all the, all the time here. And it honestly was not, it was expensive, but not like it is this year. Espresso martini. I mean, I don't know if there's like a, a real way to make it. I'm going to tell you how I do it. I do a double espresso with a shot of Kahlua and a shot of vodka. Um, and you can put a little dairy in there. You could also use Baileys and make it a little creamer. You know, sometimes I like it with the Baileys. And sometimes, like, if I'm not having it for, like, dessert, like, if I just want a little pick-me-up, um, I don't use the cream. Thank you, Nella. 
I'm gonna just throw these in the oven with some olive oil, salt, and pepper, and that's just gonna get it nice and toasty. I'm gonna spread it on bread. Um, I've been keeping the garlic in here mainly because I bought a huge bag of bulbs and I didn't want to, I actually found out the last time I was on live that you're not supposed to keep garlic in the fridge. Is that still true? Um, so I put a bunch in mason jars in my pantry. So I'm going to, you know, I'll let you know if it, if it stays fresh, I'll let you know. Yeah. 400 a week for camp is crazy. So I put her in, um, it's two days a week for six weeks. Um, also though, I was looking at, the, at some, and let me just tell you what, what astronomical is. 3,000, 4,000 for a six year old to go to camp? No, that is absurd. Like I'm, I'm a nervous wreck when you're in the camp anyway because I don't know these people. I'm putting you in this place. The camp that I put her in this year, I, um, she, she actually knows the people there too. So I'm like, all right, um, you know, I'll feel good. This is how I feel when you move from a different state. Like I grew up in New York, right? So moving to New Jersey, it's hard for me to trust anybody around me. Like I go by reviews for everything, but when it comes to your kids. You know, like that's why me and my husband will never have a babysitter. There's, there's no way. Who am I gonna hire to babysit my kids? Because I don't know nobody. And then it's like even people recommend me. You know, like maybe if you're like a, a like a, a friend that I know and like, you know, I trust your instincts. But if someone hits me up like on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, like honestly, guys, I love that you're recommending it. I really do. And if this was a different time in the world, maybe. Thank you. Um, but. I don't know, I'm very freaking weird with my kids. Like, I won't just put her somewhere because it's cheap or whatever. I'll just keep her home and we'll just do shit. Luckily, I have a pool, you know what I mean? So I could keep her outside. All right, I'm just gonna do these. Should I do a little more? I'll use a little more than three. I am in like the East Brunswick area. So honestly, I if, if I had family that was in the position to help me, I you know, that would be great. My family lives in Queens. So, I mean, that's not like a, hey, can you come run here? I want to run to the grocery store. Oh, I'm going to drop the baby off. Like it's never, it's, it's, it's just, ne you know, never going to be like that. And then the family that I do have here, they all have their own life that they're dealing with. Like, you know, stuff that they're dealing with that takes up most of their time. And I'm, I'm the kid's parents, you know what I mean? So it is what it is. It's just like growing up, maybe not even me, but I feel like there were so many people that had like people around. Like you went to your aunt's house, you went to your uncle's house, your cousin, you stayed at the neighbor. You know what I mean? They don't do that shit now. My daughter told me I'm going to stay with the neighbor. Yeah, okay. I, I, I like, you know, my neighbors are nice, they're friendly, we say hi, whatever, but I don't know them enough to let my kid go in their house without me, you know, with me, no problem. And yes, my mother offers to help me, yes, but like I said, if, if like me and my husband, say like the morning of, we're like, oh yeah, we could definitely go out tonight, you know, and then I'm like, mom, from Queens, can you drive to my house? Like, it just doesn't work that way. It's just not that easy, you know what I mean? But like I said, this is just the season of life that we're in. I'm gonna just put the garlic right in the foil. Looks like a little boat, you know? Real, real technical cooking show over here, guys. Make a boat with your foil. Where is my salt? Where's my, oh, here it is. No? My salt must have walked away. Babe, did you use salt today on anything? That's so freaking weird.
Do I really? Can I really not find my salt right now? Alright, I guess I gotta use this one. Guys, I'm sorry, but this is like truly blowing my mind right now. The table. Nina, did you use salt today? I don't know about. Mom. Well, guess what? What? Tell me. I got a, 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 a stuffed animal today. A stuffed animal? Oh, on the hat? A kid yeah. That's cool. A oh, I found it, guys. It was behind the honey. A, a kid be a stuffed animal. What is it, like a prize that you win? Yeah. Um, it, it's coming to Daddy. Later, oh. though. Daddy, Daddy bought it for you? No. No, he teased me how to get You bought it yourself? Did Daddy watch you purchase it? Yeah. He just teased me. You're not going to go in and start buying stuff, though. I know. Okay. I just got it because I wanted it. It's coming today. Mm, nice nice life you live, Sarah Pina. It's coming later, though. Okay. Okay. I'm putting some olive oil on here. Babe, you bought her a stuffed animal? I'm very confused at the conversation, guys. <laughs> Sometimes it's like nothing. You just have to really just entertain it. You know what I mean? All right, this is literally garlic, olive oil, salt. What she probably means is this app, Kadopia, right? It's like an educational app on the iPad. If you complete like a certain amount of, you know, tasks, they gift you with like a teddy bear. I don't know if it's real. It's probably like an app thing. You know what I mean? Like one of those rewards. Obviously, I am not up with the times on the technical terms. You know what I mean? All right, I'm going to put this right in the oven. This is peeled garlic, five cloves of peeled garlic, olive oil, and salt. I'm putting it right in the oven. My oven's on 425. I'm going to prep my vegetables now. So I'm going to be roasting a summer squash, zucchini, a small eggplant, and some red onion. Thank you for sharing, and thank you for following, guys. All right, so I'm going to just chop them up pretty small, and I'm going to roast them with olive oil, um, salt, pepper. I bought some of that. I bought some of that pesto from Costco. The Costco pesto is very good. Very good. Thank you, guys. Yeah, Moki's chilling. She went to the groomer today, so I mean, I don't, I don't think I've ever met a dog that enjoys going to the groomer. Unless there is. Definitely not mine. Oh, you did like the pepperoncini much, um, martini, so like I said, that wasn't my idea. And honestly, I thought it was delicious, but let me tell you something. Very angry. And myself, obviously, because I didn't read the label properly, so it's my fault. But the, the, the coloring, obviously. So when you buy this at the grocery store, you can't really tell that it's that, you can't really tell that it's a weird color because you, like the peppers are in it, you know what I mean? So I just like, oh, okay. But then when I started eating them and the pepper, like the juice of the pepper was dripping on my plate, I'm like, wait a minute, what is that color? And it does have yellow five in it. I mean, I know it's not the Red's Eye 40, but tell me about yellow five. Should, I'm, I mean, I'm sure we should be worried about that also, right? Like, and I'm still going to eat the pepper, but what I mean is I'm not going to make a martini out of the brine. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'll eat the pepper, but I don't need to be drinking the brine. Yeah, just as bad. See? Yeah, the, yeah, Exactly. I am gonna peel this eggplant. I always peel my eggplant. I'm just not a fan of the skin on it. It's very thick. I am from Howard Beach, Queens. I lived there um, till I was probably like 24, 25. And then I lived in Staten Island for a few years. I think like four years. And then now we live in Jersey. 
Yeah, what is the reason for the dye? Like, I don't care that it's it's not green. Do you think I want to eat a pepperoncini and see, like, it's it's not even like an enjoyable green. It's like a neon. That's what made me, honestly, if it wasn't that weird green, I probably would have never even checked. Because why would I assume that they're putting coloring in, in the, in the, um, the brine, you know what I mean? It was Mountain Dew green. And honestly, it was delicious. I don't even know if that was the proper measurements. Um, I feel like it just, it was good for like a few sips, but it didn't taste anything like you thought it was gonna taste like. It tasted nothing like it. I also probably didn't do like the proper measurements or whatever the case was, you know what I mean? Um, I love dirty martinis, but I, I, I also just drink very simple, like the vodka with the citrus. Um, I love an espresso martini. What else? I don't know. I, I haven't, like, I don't really venture out. Like, if I go to a restaurant, I'll read, like, the cocktail menu. If there's something I like, I'll get. I love, like, hot. I love cucumber, mint, all, all stuff like that. Mojito I love. I just, another thing, the mojitos. Like, I don't love sweet drinks. So, the mojitos, they, like, muddle everything with the sugar. So, I guess I could try using the hot honey for that. That's a good idea, too. I'm going to cut everything basically the same size. Around the same size, you know? We're not perfect. Lebanese food is really good, so I love that for us all. <laughs> We're all besties. I have the vegetable peels. So the eggplant, I will not put in the vegetable compost just because... I, I don't know if it's going to color the broth. It may not. It may not. But I also, even if I was making a soup with eggplant, I would take the skin off. Like, I don't want to boil the skin. Just because I'm not a fan of it, you know? I don't know if that's going to give off a different taste in the stock. I could be wrong, though. Like, even the zucchini. Do you guys peel your zucchini? No, right? People don't peel the zucchini. It is 4.52 here. Yeah, zucchini is a good vegetable. And then I just like to put a little bit of red onion. I like roasted red onion, grilled red onions, roasted red onions. Thank you guys so much. The chicken masala I made a couple of weeks ago, that was really good. And now I've been like, you know, so what I do is like, I have told you guys, I like to just read recipes. So now that I have a bottle of masala wine in the house, I've been reading recipes that include masala. So I've been getting like a ton of ideas from that. That's how I winged the freaking eggplant recipe and that shit was so good. See, like this, I'll put in the compost pile for sure. So, and what I mean by compost pile is this Ziploc bag that sits in my freezer. <laughs> I don't have like a compost thing or anything. This, oh, this isn't compost. This is for my chicken stock, actually. I don't compost because I chicken stock. <laughs> this is the scraps that I use for my chicken stock. Okay. Let's season our veg. I'm definitely gonna make pesto again. Um, I did buy the Costco one just cause I'm gonna be doing some uh, cooking tomorrow that I wanna use the pesto for. And I do really enjoy the Costco pesto. <laughs> we do day night without the kids, yes. Um, not as often as we would love, but I mean, that's just what it is right now. We try to go like at least once a month, at, at least.
But that really just brings you back to the whole babysitting thing. You know what I mean? Like, I see, and I, I'm not even talking shit. Like, I, I am literally jealous. Um, I see people, they get tons of date nights alone and, like, vacations and weekend getaways, you know? We definitely don't get that stuff. So we make the best out of it with the kids, you know? And then the kids get experiences, too, so... It all, it all, it all works out, you know? Yeah, Cineholic was very good. Um, I didn't get paid for that or anything. That was like a real review. They did send me that stuff for free, but that wasn't like, you know, paid. That was my opinion. Um, if you are vegan, I definitely recommend, you know, because they are 100% vegan, which I didn't even know until the morning of. Yeah, I got my nails done today. They have like little flowers on them. I'll take a video. All right, so this is some pesto. I'm gonna just do like a few scoops of this. And this is garlic, olive oil. Like this is really flavorful. And then I'm also gonna put a little olive oil. Mom? Yes, baby. I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm doing this. The kindergarten book? What'd you do? Which one are you doing? Um, the pattern. Cool. What do I do on a pattern? On this one? Circle which paintbrush comes next in the pattern. I like this So you see that? Orange, orange, blue, orange, orange, blue, orange. Orange. <laughs> Good job. Mom, got today. She did? Doesn't she look so cute? Mom, I don't do that. It's fine. It's not fine. It's disgusting. This is Mocha. Hey, Mocha. That's my old lady. She just got groomed. I told them to cut her really short because in the summer, she, my, we always put her in the pool. And she like, she, she like actually seems to enjoy it on like a really hot, hot day. Hot day. You know, like so hot that she comes out and she dries instantly. She's old. She's like 13. She's old. She's an old baby. Okay, olive oil. I'm talking too much shit, guys. I gotta get my, my dinner gloves. All right, so I'll, I'm gonna do pepper. And that's really it, because like I said, the pesto is so seasoned. My fridge cheese this week, so I was gonna buy a Dubliner, a Kerrygold Dubliner, um, but I do have an abundance of cheese right now in my drawer. If you believe it, I still haven't opened that hot honey cheese because I feel like you guys ruined it for me. It doesn't expire until September, so I have time. But I feel like you guys told me how terrible it was that I just have no desire to try it. Let's get the dinner cooked and I'll show you my cheese roll. We'll see what else I got. Now. I don't have anything crazy right now, just like slices and stuff. I feel like in the summer, I don't... Like, when people come over, I won't rush to make, like, a charcuterie board. Mainly because if we're hanging outside, like, who wants to eat the friggin' cured meat and cheese that's been sitting in the sun? You know? I feel like I do more, like, things that'll work well outside. You know what I mean? And that's definitely not one of them. So I don't buy a ton of cheese like that in the summer. Um, but I do always have a fridge brick. That's a necessity. All right, we're going to put this in the oven. Yes, sweaty cheese. And you know what? Sometimes I like sweaty cheese, actually. So you take the cheese out and you let it sweat for just like 30 minutes and then you eat it. But not sweating in the sun. You know what I mean? Like sweating on your kitchen counter with your air conditioner blowing. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set my timer for, let's just do 12 minutes for now. So I could, you know, flip it and see what's happening with it. Mocha, are you being gross still? Be a lady, Mocha. Mocha, please be a lady. All right, which bowl can I use for that? All right, I'm gonna use this for 
the flour because I'm actually going to throw it out after. For some reason, we have a Tupperware. Everything has a cover, but there's one Tupperware. So I save it and I, I like will use it for something that night and then I toss it. I don't know why. That's, I don't know why I do that. Yeah, mocha's old. <laughs> Babe, someone goes, it's taking mocha an hour and I have to leave the kitchen. She's old. She's an old little baby. Um, so I got mocha right before I met my husband. So mocha's basically, actually mocha bit my husband in the face years ago. Not one of her finest moments, if I do say so myself. Not one of her finest moments, okay? But she did, and it was on it was on Thanksgiving, actually. So what happened was it was um all right, so I'm gonna put eggs in here. I'm just gonna put like four eggs. I'm gonna start with four eggs. Well, what do you make for dinner? I'm making chicken frame cheese. It's like chicken with lemon. I like it. Maybe you do like it, you've had it. Like? It's chicken you like, yes. Oh, look how sharp this place. Did you sharpen that? No, look how sharp it is. Okay, can we not eat dinner with that outfit though? I know. Okay. Oh. I just bought I, I just bought them both like a few summer clothes, right? And my daughter Serafina has put on every outfit today so far. I'm like every outfit today so far that I bought. In multiple times, guys, I'm doing this because I put a shell in. I I dropped a shell in. So supposedly the shell attracts the shell. So you use the shell to scoop the other shell. Have you ever seen that? That's also Something that I saw somewhere. Okay, take credit for it. All right, the mocha story. <laughs> Sorry, I have kids, they interrupt. <laughs> Hold on, let me just wash my hands. It was Thanksgiving. It was a cool Thanksgiving day. <laughs> um, and my mother and grandmother were at my apartment, which was in the base, not like the basement, the side of my mother-in-law's house. And my mother and my grandmother slept over. So what happened was I let my mom and my grandma sleep in the apartment and me and Tom went downstairs and slept in like his, so my, my brother-in-law, my husband's brother had the whole basement in that house. So me and my husband went and slept in the basement down there. So I brought Mocha and then my brother-in-law also has a dog, a, a, a black lab, right? So this plays a huge part in the story. The black lab had a toy. My dog wanted the toy. So my dog finally gets the toy. Mocha is very territorial, okay? She has gotten way nicer in her old age, but she's very territorial. She wanted the toy that the other dog had. Long story short, my husband had the toy in his hand. And I don't know if Mocha did it purposely or if she like thought it was the other dog. And Mocha just turned around and literally bit him like between his nose and his lip. And honestly, he probably could have used a stitch. 100%. Oh, all right. I will try the cheese on with you for sure. Let's do it. You got it, boo. All right. So this is just cheese, salt, not cheese. I'm going to put some cheese. <laughs> I'm going to put some cheese. But guys, I also have this one that I was super excited about. So, I mean, let me check my baby. Hold on. I love five o'clock in the house, you know? Five o'clock is such a great time to hop on live. So I'm putting grated cheese in here also. Um, and then I'm gonna just make a container with some flour. Yeah, that it's like a parsley chive cheese. That's my fridge brick right now, but I haven't even opened it yet. But I also still have the hot honey. Okay, so I'm gonna put some fresh parsley in here. What are you doing, Fina? 
I'm making chicken franchise. Um, I have roasted vegetables in the oven. And I'm also gonna make a quick garlic bread. I'm gonna try to at least. We'll see how much time we have. Thank you. I have had this apron for so long. This is the this and a Santa Claus one are the only two aprons I have. I'm gonna invest in a nice apron for myself. Because I really do ruin all of my clothes. Like, especially if I'm doing content videos, like I'm not gonna go in my freaking PJs every time. You know what I mean? Even just a nice tea, I'm I'm freaking ruining. All right, now I'm gonna put some flour. So chicken franchise, what you do is you put a little bit of flour, you pat the flour off, and then you dredge it in the egg, and then from the egg to the hot fat. So the egg gives it like a, I can't even explain. Just like a nice texture, you know? So we're gonna put some flour, and in the flour, I'm just gonna put salt and pepper. I think that's probably all you need. My favorite meal to cook. I don't know. I feel like I just love cooking in general. Like if I'm not on like a time stretch, if someone's not like waiting for me to feed them, I could just like chill in the kitchen and literally just cook all day. Like I truly enjoy that. <laughs> Thank you. More kids. No, we're definitely done having kids. Hundred percent. I am done having children. All right, let me get my pan. Where's my cast iron? Using my trusty nonstick cast iron that I love. My OG. I'm gonna do. I'm turn you. So I'm gonna get my oil hot because I. Ideally, I want to go straight from the egg to the fat. Like, you can't really... Sometimes with, like, the cutlets, like, you know, chicken cutlets, you could bread them and let them sit for a little bit. This, you can't. You got to just go. So, this brand, um, I've had this this um, so long. Like, before I even lived in this house, and I've lived in this house for almost six years. So, I don't even know if they still have it, but the brand is uh, The Kitchen, I believe, and... I got it on HSN. So I'm gonna put it on um, olive oil. Let me get some butter. Thank you guys. You guys are showing me so much love right now. So cool. I will definitely post the live to my YouTube. So if you notice, I don't have music on right now. Usually, you know, I'm jamming in my freaking kitchen. I feel like I'm boring you right now, you know? But um, sometimes YouTube blocks my video if there's music in it for like, you know, copyright fringe in different parts of the world. Um, so just to avoid that, I try not to put it on for the whole video. So I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of butter and do you know, it says, you know, obviously you know that. It has this size reference on there. Thank you. All right, let that go. Get that hot. And then I am going to, oh, I got some butter paper in there. We're going to fry that. But in the meantime, I'm going to start um, prepping our lemon juice. After I cook the chicken, I like to slice up a lemon and fry up some of the lemon pieces in like the residual fat. And then I deglaze with those lemon pieces in there. And then I put the fresh lemon juice. And also I put some chicken stock. And then you just let that cook for like 10, for like 15 minutes. Very, very easy dish. And I like to eat the lemon with the chicken. Ooh, June, yeah. I'm ready to just bake in the pool, guys, okay? Um, I like to eat the lemon rind with the chicken. It's actually really good. It like gets sweet when you, you know, cook it. It gets like soft too. It's not hard. Let me get my lemons. Once this starts melting fully, I will put a piece of chicken in. 
don't want to go too soon. I don't want to touch it until I put it right in that fat. I put some Parmesan in my eggs. In my egg mixture. Thank you. I, I don't even know where I got this apron, actually. I've had it for a very long time. So I did wash these, and this is the one that I'm going to slice. I use. I like to find the pretty one, not that it matters because it gets, like, broken down anyway. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, chicken wings last night were so freaking good, guys. Oh, my God. What a good choice. My husband comes home and he's like, all the things in the world to order and you order chicken wings. Because <laughs> we really eat so much chicken. Like, I'm literally eating chicken right now. I just love crispy chicken wings. Let me get my chicken. So this is just thin cut chicken that I got from my pork store. I did not thin them out today. I was in a rush. So they were beautiful though. And I found this pork store literally... Let me put this in the sink. I found this pork store by like, I just went on Google and I was like pork store around me, you know, because I wanted to pick up some meat before I left Staten Island. I like the pork stores on Staten Island. I just haven't found one that I love here yet. Um, but also I'm not really looking, you know? So flour, egg, I'm putting it in the fat. I'm not turning because my hands are dirty. But I will show you after I rinse. That's my vegetables going off. I will put the live on my YouTube. Your first thunderstorm? Where do you live? All right. I hear you. Have a little patience. Let me just wash my hands. I'm gonna have to use a fork. I can't do it again. Dad! Yeah. Dad! Yeah. Alright, let me check those vegetables. Are you good? Are you good? I mean, you can't be mad at that, right? So you're not going to be fully cooking it the whole way through here. It, it also may not get a golden crust. You know, you may not get that with this because you are going very quick. Okay. My vegetables, I'm going to just put them on for like another, I'm going to actually raise my oven to 450 now. So I did 425 to 12. Now I'm doing 450 and I'm going to set the timer for let's do eight minutes. Ideally, you want them all to look like that, but it's not going to be like that every time. I don't want to give you false hopes, okay? False expectations, but ideally, that's beautiful. Persian food. So, babe, have I ever had Persian food? What, what do, like, name some dishes. And, yes, I just put salt and pepper in the, in the, in the flour. The egg is seasoned with salt, pepper, grated cheese, and fresh parsley. The pan has olive oil and, and butter, equal parts, about a tablespoon of each. This is what the other side looks like, and you're gonna just repeat. I'm going to add a little more butter, a little more olive oil, because as you can see, it did soak up a lot of it. A little more butter. We'll go with the olive oil. I'm going to use a fork so I don't have to keep washing. So much easier to use your hands though, I gotta tell ya.
Yes, babe. What? What'd you say? What'd you say? Yeah, babe, you talking to me? Oh. I thought you said mom. You're shouting out the numbers. Oh, okay, that's cool. She's doing her kindergarten book. Ask me what I was doing at that age. I don't even know. Maybe I was doing my kindergarten book too. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna have to use my hands. This takes too freaking long. Too freaking long. Try to be nice because I'm cooking on live, you know? Goes the egg. Anybody else here, Miss, Miss Rachel? Like all day. I feel like she doesn't even watch it. It's kind of just like a background thing, you know. Tina, can you put that air conditioner back on, please? So I, I honestly feel like people don't use cast irons because they are a bitch to clean. They make a bitch on your stove. They destroy your freaking stove. Um, but they are great. Cast irons are great. But this is supposedly a non-stick one, and it is way easier to clean. It's like seasoned so well. Um, I don't know if the non-stick plays like a part in that. You know what I mean? But cast iron is great. If you have the patience for them to... And by patience, I mean like how you use them, the process of cleaning them and keeping them seasoned, then I totally recommend them, but they are a bitch. Chicken franchise. Um, I have vegetables in the oven roasting. The chicken franchise comes together very quick. After this, I'm gonna fry up some lemon pieces and then we're gonna make a really quick sauce. I'm gonna make garlic bread. I have garlic in the oven also roasting. My plants look so good. I actually need to really de-weed my garden. Um, I haven't been a chance to get out there by myself. Like I can't just work in the garden and have the kids around because I worry about the pool. I'm still trying to figure out what I could do around that pool. Like Fina was a very different baby. She didn't really care to like, you know, explore. She was, she didn't care about that stuff. You know what I mean? And I feel like Mariella is going to be the complete opposite. So I am trying to figure out like, what I could do. I'm, I I have seen like these things that come on the side of the pool. They come up the sides. Thank you. But the thing is, it's, I can't put a fence around the pool because half of my pool is on like grass. It's not fully around on a deck. So there's really nowhere to place the fence. I need something that goes up and not like, I can't explain it. The pool is like, um, it's like three to four feet, but then as you go down, it gets deeper. So that's something that we've been looking into and figuring out which one I'm going to get. This one is not too heavy. Cast iron normally is heavy. Ouch, that just popped at me. Cast iron normally is heavy. This one is heavy, but not as heavy. That's what I'm saying. Cast iron is just something you gotta commit to when you when you have a cast iron too. Like it's you gotta like you can't just put it in the sink, you know, you can't just throw it in the dishwasher. You gotta make sure you wipe it clean because it does get rusty. It'll actually get rusty. Thanks, guys. Homemade brownies, cool. Yes, my flour has um, salt and pepper, and my eggs have grated cheese. So it's four eggs. It's about a quarter cup of grated cheese, salt, pepper, and like a handful of fresh topped parsley. 
I only have one more piece of chicken, so four eggs was actually perfect for that. This is like a pound and a half of chicken. All right, dinner's going to be done in like 15, 20 minutes. Okay? Okay. Ooh, vegetables are smelling good. Time is about to go off. Thank you. What our vegetables look like right now. I'm gonna flip them. I'm gonna put a little more olive oil. This is one of those pans that I need to get rid of. You know, like after a while, the pan like doesn't sit straight. You know what I mean? So so far, these vegetables have been in for 20 minutes at different time intervals. The first time 425 for 12 minutes. Um, second time 450 for eight minutes. I got some crisp, up, crisp on them. I'm gonna have them go like another eight minutes. I'm gonna flip them, and I put my oven back to 4, 425, and they'll be done in that. Honestly, my favorite thing to cook, I love to cook everything, I feel like. Oh God, my husband bought my daughter a recorder. So see, like they have a little color on them, but I want a little more. And also, if you want to make something and you know it's completely finished and you don't love the color of it, just put it under the broiler for a few minutes. Broil it for like two to three minutes just to get the top nice and crispy. If you don't want to keep cooking it because you know it's going to overcook whatever you're cooking, just broil it. But watch it. Watch it because the broiler will burn your shit. Actually, I lied about the color of my chicken breast because they all look beautiful so far. So I take that back. So you see the foam in the pan? That's like the flour also with the butter. So that's going to help thicken your sauce. But this isn't like a super thick sauce. I don't add any like additional flour. I guess you can if you want it a little thicker. But I don't mind it to be like that nice silky loose sauce. Thank you for sharing my live and following me and liking my stuff. You guys are so cool. Mesh pool safety fence. I believe you can use it on grass. Okay. Yeah, I've been looking into, they have like a, a net too that sits just like on top of your pool. I just want to know like the material of it. If it's like hard, you know, I don't want it to be just like a regular freaking screen. I'm making chicken franchise. I have roasted vegetables in the oven. I'm also going to be making garlic bread. Right, I'm going to take these out. These are going to finish cooking in the, in the lemon sauce. So don't fear. They will be cooked. I'm going to put more butter, more olive oil, cook this last piece of chicken. And in the meantime, we're going to fry up our lemons. We're going to cut up our lemons to fry them up. Last piece of chicken, I'm gonna use the friggin' fork. Cause I wash my hands so much that my knuckles get like ashy. I'm constantly using cream. So the chicken, if you were on my chicken masala live, I kind of like accordion the chicken in. It all like cooks on itself. It cooks in its own juices. That also helps create the sauce. The chicken, you know, the the juice that comes out of the chicken. So you'll see the way I fit it in the pan. I will I will have it fit. So just put this in the pan. And then we will work on our lemons. I have very little egg in here. So if you see, I'm trying to just like use it all up. 
I would love to do cooking classes. That's definitely on like my bucket list of stuff that I want to accomplish. Um, just because I truly do enjoy like the whole aspect of this. That's why I like being on live with you guys. Like I love cooking and sharing like shit that I, you know, learned along the way. I really do. I enjoy that. I'm going to throw this out. I mean, you could save this if you want. You could cook something with it, but it has raw chicken in it. So you really can't do much. Chicken bread cheese, roasted vegetables, and garlic bread. Um, let's check on my roasted garlic. I have five cloves of garlic in here. I just put olive oil, salt, and pepper. And we just want them to be like soft to touch. I mean, they're looking pretty perfect to me. Perfect. I mean, go on, I could just like eat that. But we'll just put this aside for now because the garlic bread is going to be last. That smells so freaking good. Okay. Yes, it is. It smells divine. So we have our chicken cooking. This is our washed lemon. I'm going to try to get these slices as thin as possible. Um, actually, let's see. This is like exactly what I would prefer. Okay. They may not all look like this, but we're going to try. Do you hear Serafina's recorder? My husband bought her a recorder and she's been playing it um, since she opens the Amazon package. The recorder. Oh, you hear it? Okay. All day. <laughs> All day. That's her. That's her new thing. Okay, so I'm going to try to pick these seeds out. Doesn't really matter if one's stuck in there, not a big deal. This piece is actually a little too thick. I'm not going to use that for this. I am going to, I'll just squeeze the juice in for that. I got what you could, you know. This one is really perfect. I just want to like put that in my drink, you know, but what a waste. Okay. Literally, that's like all you got to do for the sauce. You got to cut some lemons and squeeze them. I don't know what I'm teaching you. The chicken was the hottest part. I am going to be making uh, bruschetta tonight, but I will be recording that. So, we, you know, look out for that video. I'll probably do a family mukbang also. Dinner and entertainment. She'll be here all night, guys. All right, let's flip this chicken. My shorts are from Target. Yeah, take a sip of my drink. God. You know, it's like 5.30. I want my kids to eat by 6. So it's my internal time clock. It doesn't let me focus on anything but getting the job done. It's just like something in me. I, I can't help it. Come to Rainbow. I go to Rainbow all the time. I was at Rainbow a couple weeks ago. Live music, my daughter. I love her. She's the best. All right, I'm going to take this chicken out, and then I'm going to show you how we fry, fry the lemon. See, like, it's beautiful. I like making pretty food, too. I don't know. That's my thing. It's not fat, for sure. I wouldn't, I'm not going to add any more of it. If you see, it has, like, the pieces stuck to the pan and the little fried chicken pieces or whatever's left in it that's going to give all flavor to your sauce so do, don't use two different pans you need the same pan you you need the flavor from here i didn't put a timer on my vegetables so just remind me you guys are really good at that remind me in like four minutes okay so we have our hot pan you're going to just literally fry up the lemons on both sides and then you will make your sauce right in here with the lemons This just gives you like a little extra pizzazz. You know what I mean? I 
I make it chicken franchise, roasted vegetables, and garlic bread. Picking out a good eggplant. So you don't want an eggplant that's too big. You want a small, cute little eggplant, not thick. Let me show you, because I, I like to buy the baby eggplants, excuse me, mainly for that reason, because they are so much sweeter. I mean, this is tiny, but even if you were to buy a regular size, maybe like a little bit bigger than that. Not that. I was heard the big ones have, I was told, told the big ones have um, a lot of seeds. I could be wrong. Okay. So I'm going to be using chicken stock tonight, mainly because I don't have any white wine in my house. I only have Pinot Noir right now. Um, but if you have white wine, you could use that instead of stock. I've done it with both. They're both equally delicious. And honestly, I don't even know if you would be able to tell the difference. Maybe you could, you know, but it doesn't really matter. All right, you see how those lemons are getting like a little toasty? Like, doesn't that look more appetizing? I got that same box of chicken stock. We opened, when, when did I open this with you, Wednesday? I'm gonna do like a half a cup. And this is when you wanna put up your flame a little bit, not high, like medium high. My veggies, let's check my veggies. Not yet. Almost though, they look way better than they did before. Okay. So you wanna just let this cook and we're gonna squeeze in our lemon juice. Let me slice up some lemons. Even the color of this sauce is beautiful because of the, you know, the brown on the bottom of the pan. Yeah, just squeeze it in here to try to avoid the seeds. I'm gonna start with two lemons and then I'm gonna taste taste the sauce and see if it's like the right ting. I feel like it depends every time you make it. It could always be different because it depends on the season. Maybe the lemon wasn't as good as the last time you made it, you know? So many reasons. These are really big lemons. Costco always got the big shit. Even that lemon's big. I just checked the veggies. They're good. Another like two minutes. I checked them like four seconds ago. Yeah, lemon bars are good. I like lemon bars. Pre-game. I remember when I used to pre-game. Go have fun, Bo. These are juicy. These are juicy. He doesn't like wet chicken. <laughs> that is so funny. So remember you do have the lemon slices as well, which are way more potent than just the juice. So just remember that. Put that one in my drink, why not? Do I have any moderators in here tonight? I don't even know. I, I don't have much of them because I don't know. Um, I told you when I deleted the app from my phone, it like deleted all my drafts and also all my moderators. <laughs> I know I, I, I gave it to somebody last time. Okay. Let's take our lemon juice. So this is two big lemons. I'm gonna put our juice in. I'm going to, let me taste it first. And then I will put the chicken in. And then if I need more liquid, I will add chicken stock and lemon juice over the chicken. Scrape the sides. 
So if you put tapers, then it's considered chicken piccata. This is chicken frame tape. I do love that also. Okay. So I'm gonna just like accordion my chicken in. It's too hot, I have to use a fork. Just like eat this chicken, it's so good. Like, I can't even eat the sauce. And then you move the lemons. I did this with the chicken franchise the last time with the um, with the mushrooms. See, this is actually the perfect amount of liquid for me. You guys know I don't like anything too saucy. And also the chicken is gonna produce liquid too once it cooks more in the in the sauce. So I'm just a, putting these on top nicely. I don't know, just because it looks cute. And then I'm gonna put some foil over it and I'm gonna let it cook for a little bit. And if I need more liquid later, I'll add it. But right now this is like the perfect, like, you know, sauce for me. I'm not making pasta, I'm not making rice. Um, so that's normally what you would need the sauce for if you were making some sort of pasta or something on the side. Ooh, veggies! Veggies! They're good. They're definitely good. I'm going to go through with the fork and turn them over. See, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I want these to look like. I'm gonna broil them for like two to three minutes. So watch, I'll show you what they look like now. And they're they're definitely done, but I, will, I, I like to be, I like color on my food, you guys know that. Like that is what I want them to look like. So I'm just gonna broil them for like two minutes and I'll show you. See what they look like now? Wait two minutes. If you add capers, I, I believe it becomes piccata. Chicken piccata. Oh, it's so <laughs> I don't have a cover for this pan, so we just use oil. You make it work, you know? It doesn't have to be super tight. It's not cooking for long. It's 10 minutes. Get started on our garlic bread. I'm gonna put a one minute timer on my veggies just in case. Just clean it up. Twenty seconds on the veg. Sip my drink. So I bought those thin cutlets from the pork store, thinned out. Um, but I do usually thin them out. I do have that video on my YouTube showing you how I do it. You basically put it between like saran wrap, or you put it in like a plastic bag, and you use a kitchen mallet, and you you could totally pound them out yourself. I'm drinking vodka and grapefruit juice and salsa. See, look at the eggplant now. See how the eggplant got like better color. 
Food tastes better when it has color to it. I don't know why, but it does. So veggies are done. You don't want to put foil on them to stay warm. Those are perfectly fine room temp. I like to actually put some balsamic glaze on them before, like right before I eat, right before you serve them. You put some balsamic glaze, you toss it, and that's how you serve them. Um, but don't put paper um, foil on them because they steam and then they get super soggy and not good. Trust me. All right, I'm going to put my oven on now. Let's do 425. Again, this is for our garlic bread. I have this loaf of Italian bread that I got from the pork store. I did eat the ass off of it, <laughs> the drive home. Um, but the bread was very good. It's from the pork store in Staten Island. But it's like, you know, I didn't wrap it up. So it's already ready to be turned into garlic bread. I'm sorry, Angelina. There's a lot of comments for you guys to read. I hate soggy anything. I am like such a texture person. I'm not weirded out with textures, guys. I have to actually cut this off because I, it has to be an even edge. It's just one of my thing. One of my things. Okay, let me live. Um, I just soggy is not a texture I ever want. Okay. So the food boss did send me over some garlic spread. Um, I am going to use that on here because I haven't had a purpose for it yet. And I mean, supposedly it's the best garlic, but I don't think I've ever had it. My sister-in-law had her wedding there, but we I was so busy. I was in the wedding. My kids were in the wedding. Oh, I should show footage of that. You guys would love that. Oh my God, my kids look so cute. Um, I didn't really get to eat much that night because I was all over the place. So I'll show you. The Food Boss garlic spread. Um, I'm sure it's good. The ingredients are salted butter, which you know I love. Um, garlic, pepper, granulated garlic, fresh parsley, paprika, Asiago. Everything that I would use in my garlic, in my, uh, garlic bread, like literally. You're the man. You're the man. Um, I could also tell you a story about that. I, like I said, my sister-in-law had her wedding there. Um, and... I left my daughter's iPad in Angelina's because he also owns Angelina's on Staten Island. I left my daughter's iPad there. The next day, we tracked the iPad. We know it's there. Like, they, like, had it for us, you know? Most people be like, no, we don't have it. It's gone. I'm going to just throw this in the microwave for a second so I can just spread it. So I'm also going to be using my crushed garlic. I'm going to just spread it on there too. Not my crushed garlic. You know what I mean? My roasted garlic. Thanks for following me. Yeah, Angelina's, their, their food is so good. My nails, I just got done today, actually. The veggies are out already. They're done. Let me get a spoon, butter knife, whatever, something. Supposedly the garlic bread is very good. And like I said, their food was very good. So, I mean, I don't know. Did you read the ingredients? How bad could it be? You ever see uh, the bath of Contessa? How bad could it be? <laughs> I love her, guys. I really do. Truly, truly love her. Did you guys ever try the garlic spread? So I'm going to actually cook it like this. So the top gets a little crispy too. Maybe I'll put a little cheese on it. I don't know. Actually, this has cheese in it. We don't need the cheese.
Wow, I feel like this is going to be really good, guys. Let's taste the bottom. Mmm. Very flavorful. Actually, let me use this for the garlic, so. So I have this roasted garlic that I made. I'm going to just crush it into the bread as well. Give it a little fresh. Ideally, I probably should have crushed it into the garlic butter, but it's delicious. I love roasted garlic. Do you guys like roasted garlic? You can make roasted garlic and just keep it in your fridge as like a condiment. And it just like changes the flavor of so many things. The roasted garlic tastes completely different than like a fried garlic, sauteed garlic. So much sweeter. Um, put some salt. I'm gonna put a little fresh parsley. <laughs> they came through his boys. What did he smell like? Fried garlic all the time. That's funny. I probably smell. It probably comes through my paws too. <laughs> I eat a lot of garlic. So the bread is the, it's a, it's a garlic bread that the food boy sent me. And then I put some roasted garlic on it and some fresh parsley, some uh, salt. I'm not going to put any cheese because there is basically butter on the bread. We really don't need the cheese though. There is Asiago in it, so there's already cheese. I'm going to be creating a ton of content tonight, too. If you guys think I'm going to hop off this and go lay in my bed, you're right. Got so much shit to do. Um, and I'll be recording a lot of the prep that I'm going to be doing for tomorrow. I'm having a drink, yep. I make garlic comfy, yeah. It's basically the same thing as like roasted garlic, whatever. It's just the amount of, you know, oil that you're using. I'm going to put this in the oven, 425. I'm going to just do like, I'm going to put my timer on eight minutes. Let's check our uh, chicken and see what it's looking like. Do you see how much more liquid there is now? You got it, guys? See, I don't lie to you. I tell you the truth. See how there's way more liquid around the sides and the consistency has changed completely. It's like velvety. I wish you could see what it looks like. It's like actually glossy. Okay. Um, I will be putting a ton of fresh posse on here also, but after I make my kids play it because Serafina will be like, no ma, I don't even know if I'm gonna get away with the parsley and the breading, she might have to scrape it off with a fork, but she's okay with it. So at this point, I'm gonna keep it covered, but I'm gonna shut the pan, because it's hot. Done. Let me clean up, and then we're gonna make another drink, because this is like all ice water now. So have you ever been to Antonio's in Staten Island? I don't know who, um, the woman actually at the front recognized me, but the meat looks beautiful. Oh, all right. You want me to do prescrata with you? I actually need that for a video. So I'm going to definitely record that. And I promise to share it with you, but I do need it for content. Um, but the people at Antonio's were very nice. It's on Amboy Road. So it's like, honestly, if you don't know, and I actually asked the guy, is this place new? Like I didn't even know it existed. If you don't know that this place is there, you're going to just drive right past it. Because it's not like you can't see it from the street. It's like in a little alleyway. Um, it's called Antonio's. It's on Amboy Road, not far from Page Avenue. Oh, let's try the cheese. Let's do it. Which one? You want to do the hot honey? But I'm scared. I'm scared. 
You know what? Just because I love you guys, I'll try, I will try both. I'll do a little piece of both. Let me just get the breadcrumbs off of my board. It is 5.50 over here. I'll try these with you, and then I'm going to make my kids' plates because the garlic bread is going to be done any minute. Let me actually put it on the top rack. So I'm going to cook it. I have it on 425. I'm going to do that for... I have my timer on eight minutes. It's at like six now. And then I am going to just broil the top if I don't like the color. You know, I'm the, I'm the freaking queen of broil, okay? This cheese I actually got from ShopRite. I was very, I was very um, surprised to see something different like that there because they don't really have a great selection. Um, but then I also looked at all the other ones. And they had a ton of this brand. Have you ever saw this? Have you ever seen this brand? This is Sincerely Bridget, which I think is really cute. The packaging is group is really cute. It's a bitch to open, which means it's got to be sealed nicely. Shit. Okay, this is the. Let's read it. Okay, it looks nice. Nice little scallion. Parsley and chive. Actually, not not scallion chives. What happens when you live, breathe, and dream about cheese and want to share your passion with everyone around? Sincerely, Bridget is my creation, an explosion of flavor in every bite, a chance to create a lifestyle, a community of cheese lovers just like me. Ooh, girl, I am in that cheese lover community for sure. Let's see. I feel like I'm doing my cheese advent calendar. I wasn't viral then, so you guys probably didn't see that. But every Christmas, I do a cheese advent calendar. Hmm. Yes. Yes, that's delicious. Love the texture, kind of like a fontina. Sharp. If you're not into that, don't buy it. But very good. All right, hot honey. I'm scared. I'm already scared because you know what? You guys set me up for failure. You set me up for failure. Honey and crushed red pepper. Great with roasted veggies or pizza. Don't give me no cute little message on the back of this cheese, Aldi. What the hell? That cheese was from Aldi. The hot honey is from Aldi. The chive parsley is from ShopRite. So my, my fridge brick of the week is definitely that chive parsley. All right, let's start. Where's the hot honey? There's no hot honey. I don't really taste anything. It's not terrible. But it tastes nothing like it's supposed to taste. No hot honey. No spice. I don't know what those little fugazi red pepper flakes are. But there is no spice. All right. It's not terrible. I could definitely use it in like a mac and cheese or on a, on a cheese board. It's not terrible, but I'm not going to buy it again. But it wasn't as bad also as everyone was like, oh my God, it's disgusting. It made me throw up. It's terrible. It's not too bad. But it's definitely not hot honey at all. Babe, I'm making that place. So if you want to bring them up. Not terrible, but I definitely don't recommend it. So don't buy it. Better melted, maybe. Maybe I'll do a mac and cheese with it. A homemade mac and cheese. You guys into that? I'll okay, put those aside because I want to wrap them up nice. Um, let me put my bread. I'm going to turn it on broil now. 
because now we just want to get it cooked. Let's broil. And then I'm going to do my timer for three minutes and it should be done. Let's make my kids' plates. Look how beautiful that looks. I'm going to take out a piece now so it could cool off for them. Caramelized onion cheddar from Trader Joe. How come I can't find that? So many people told me, but I can't find it. I've had a caramelized onion from, what's that store called? The store, it has like the cow in it and all like the animals and shit. They like talk to you and the animals talk. Stu Lennitz, Stu Lennitz. And that shit was delicious. Um, but I've never seen it again. Never seen it again. Here's our veggies. Make it a fork. This is Mariella's plate. Some summer squash. I'd like to get her the bigger pieces, but honestly, Mariella is so good with feeding herself now and I think it's just because it's how I always did with her I mean I definitely still worry you know I'm just like a very nervous person in general when it comes to like choking and stuff you wouldn't believe it from the sh shit that I give her um but she has come a very long way check this out Brad oh see you guys what did I tell you about the broiler what did I tell you about the broiler? I burnt my edges. But you know what? It could be worse. It could be worse. Don't don't broil your food unless you watch it, okay? But this isn't even that bad. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna just cut this off and it's fine because it's just that little top edge. We make it work around here, guys, okay? We don't need to be eating a whole fucking loaf of bread anyway. I mean, that looks beautiful. That side looks good. Keeping it real, guys, okay? Shit happens. It's not even that bad, honestly. It could be so much worse. Are we gonna play it? Pretend you didn't see the burnt edge. Guys, look at this beautiful garlic bread I made. <laughs> it's like so beautiful and I didn't burn it at all. Yeah, no, some people love this dock. I can't, I can't. All right, let's cut their chicken. I'm making their plates. All right, thank you. Mariella, I serve her just like that. I'll cut that little nub off. That's garlic bread. This is the chicken, baby. I got chicken for you over here. I'm cutting it, okay? That's a what laugh? That's a laugh? Okay. See? No. Cut 
scared for a minute. I got scared for a minute. <laughs> Mariella's is done. If you want to give it to her, because I know she's really like, she's like she's starving for that. I'll make your plate. I'm just making Fina's now. Garlic bread. I'm gonna cut the garlic bread and just bring it to the table. Fina sit. Fina go sit. <laughs> what do you need that for? Gonna dip, she's gonna dip her chicken bread jays in ranch. Okay. Okay. See, I don't know. My house is never boring. Literally. Some days I wish it would be a little boring. Okay. <laughs> is that good, Mariella? Do you love it? Do you love it, my baby? Oh, you do. You don't want to can you get a fork, baby girl? Can you get forks for everybody? Can you get forks for everybody? <laughs> I'm gonna just cut the garlic bread and just bring it to the table. Nice and crispy, do you hear that as I cut it? Do you hear it? Get this little piece of my plate. Because I'll take a bite with you guys too. Mm -hmm. See, so you got the crushed garlic in there. Okay. Yummy. Mine, baby's mom. Yes, baby. Don't, don't go with them down and you don't run with them in your hand, okay? Mariana, you want, baby? Whatever you want, bud. Babe, do you want me to make you a sandwich or do you want to have it in a plate with garlic bread? Okay, do you want mozzarella on it? Mozzarella on it? My husband likes chicken franchise sandwiches, so I'm going to make him a quick hero. I'm gonna just wrap it up in foil. And by the time he opens it, the cheese will be melted. He prefers the sandwich over the garlic. This is the Italian bread from uh, Costco. Actually, I don't think it's Italian bread. I think it's like a French baguette or something like that. <laughs> this is heaven for me. I did go live on Wednesday, which I don't normally do, but... I did. It was like an impromptu. So I'm going to just put the mozzarella on the bread and the hot chicken will just melt it. I prefer to use fresh mozzarella here. So let's just put that out there, but I don't have any. My friends that are coming tomorrow are bringing the fresh mozzarella. That was on their list of stuff to bring because they live on Staten Island and they're gonna bring the Pestosa one, which is my favorite. What do you want to drink? Leah. I have my drink. I'm gonna make a new drink over here, babe, and I'm done. Do you want some of the lemons on too, babe? I'm gonna do two, two collets for him on that. My husband likes it saucy. Looks good. Thanks. I'm gonna put a little, is there a spoon in there, babe, in that drawer? 
I learned this from working on Mulberry Street. You use the knife to close your sandwich. You like push it down with the knife. See that? And I'm, I'm really just closing it up for the purpose of it to steam for a few seconds, but this is my hubbies. I got a plate for you, babe, so you can put your vegetables on that. Oh, you want to put it on there? To the baby. What don't you know? You can take this, you can take the flour off if you want it. Look, it's plain chicken. It's good, leave it on. You'll like it. Try it. You'll like it. You ever see that Yo Gabba Gabba? Try it, and then you'll like it. I am, I'm gonna make my play now. Yeah, she was really enjoying the chicken, Mariella. Do you want me to slice more for her? You sure? You have two Oh, I had a piece up here. You took it? Yeah. Real quick. Sorry. You don't need the wrench. The case of the missing garlic bread. <laughs> like, where the hell did it go? This is weird. Vegetable. Still? See how the consistency of this wash changed? Take a bite and then I'm hopping off. Perfectly. Oh, I need some fresh parsley. For sure. I feel like you need the fresh parsley. Mmm. That is so good, babe. Let's try it with the lemon. If you never made your, your chicken franchise with the lemons in the sauce, you have to. It's a must. Wow. Another easy classic. Like, I felt like I showed you how to make chicken masala. I now had to show you how to make chicken franchise because it, like, goes in the same category, you know? Let's try the vegetables with you. Here you go. Mm. So much flavor just from that pesto. This is the garlic bread with the roasted garlic. Mmm. Garlic bread so good. All right, guys, I'm going to eat my crew. So good. Make it. I'm going to put it on YouTube. I love you all so much. Thank you for hanging with me so much. Thank you for all the love, the follows, the shares. You guys are really cool. Love you guys.